Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video here today. Here we have the Spider-Man Trilogy on Blu-ray, 1, 2, and 3. Recently I did an unboxing for this, the 4K set. This is nice, great to have the movies in 4K. But it's also nice to have them on Blu-ray. I picked these up after I bought the 4K set because there's a lot of things missing from the 4K in my opinion. So I got these on eBay for around 10 bucks altogether. Pretty fair price. It's nice to have these with the original slipcovers as well. They're just nice releases. So one, two, and three here. We'll go over all of them. So here is Spider-Man 1. Just has the Green Goblin and Spider-Man here. There's a look at the spine. And the back, Blu-ray exclusives, so there's some trivia challenges, and what even is that? Create your own video using clips and music from the movie? That's kind of interesting. BD Live, I don't know if that's really a feature anymore, though. But some cool artwork here as well. Special features. Some documentaries. Not amazing special features or anything, but still pretty cool. Here's a look at the inside here. Again, basically the exact same artwork here. And then you open it up, and pretty nice inside as well. So there is the colorful disc for the first movie. Even has an old ultraviolet code in here. It probably doesn't work anymore. And I'll take this disc out, and there it is. Some pretty cool inside artwork of the Green Goblin. I'll put all of this stuff back in there. Go ahead and put this slipcover back on as well. So, pretty good so far. And then the next one, of course, Spider-Man 2. The best Spider-Man movie right here. I mean, I like the animated ones into and across the Spider-Verse, but this, I think it might be the best. As it says up there on the top, includes both the theatrical and extended versions of the film. So it's very nice to have both of them. And here's the back. Some nice special features in here. It has a commentary. Actually, it might have two commentaries. Blooper reel. Breakdown. Stuff like that. And then pretty much the same artwork underneath. Looks pretty good. We open this one up. Pretty similar presentation. There's two on the disc. Ultraviolet. And this was actually advertising the sequel. Or, not really sequel, but reboot. Amazing Spider-Man. I have those on Blu-ray as well. Don't have those on 4K, though. I'll take this Blu-ray disc out. And there it is. Doc Ock fighting Spider-Man right there. Again, pretty cool. Put these back in there. And I'll put the slipcover back on as well. So there's that. And of course, the third and final part here before he showed up again in No Way Home. The main Spider-Man suit and the symbiote suit there. Forgot to mention, actually, but um, kind of some embossing on... Um, kind of, well, a little bit on the lettering for the number and then for the title as well. Let me look at these real quick. Okay, yeah, these have embossing as well. That's pretty cool. But um, Spider-Man 3. Here's a look at the spine for both of them. And not many special features here. But it looks like uh, some pretty nice artwork here on the back. And again, pretty much the same. And we open this one up. Nice disc here as well. There's the ultraviolet and pretty much the exact same inserts as the last release for Amazing Spider-Man. And then I'll take this disc out and there's that artwork. I mean, it's beautiful. Just some really nice inside artwork right here. 
You don't see that too much anymore. I'll put these back in here. And I'll put the slip cover on as well. So the artwork is interesting with a blue background, has Spider-Man and then the villain. But I do like it. All three spines there together. Looks really good. Very uniform. Here's all the backs. But overall, these are some nice releases. Um, I bought the 4K set first and then realized I should probably double dip and get the Blu-rays because I wanted... Uh, well, first off, it's nice to have them on Blu-ray in the first place, but there's also commentaries and special features and different cuts of the movie. And plus, it's just some nice packaging here, in my opinion. So I like the way these look and the inside artwork and the slip covers. It's all pretty nice. So um, I think, honestly, if you're not a big 4K fan, you can probably just get these Blu-rays. Um, you could get them individually if you want, or you could get the Blu-ray trilogy. It's probably your best option here. But um, I think uh, these movies do look really good on 4K as well. So really, it's up to... Uh, anyone what they want to do here but i decided to get both the blu-rays and the 4ks and i'm happy that's going to do it for this video just an unboxing for spider-man 1 2 and 3 individually here on blu-ray thanks a lot for watching this video here today and stay tuned for more videos very soon